All right, hi, I'm uh, Dan Jump, like Jump Up and Down. I uh, worked at Microsoft for the last uh, 23 years, uh, mostly in the office code base, uh, our client code, which is C++. So uh, the last, last 10 years or so, my team's been tasked with uh, modernizing and refactoring some of our uh, older code to make it easier to use and maintain. Uh, so this is just going to talk about how we take this old uh, string class that was written, who knows, 1990 maybe, uh, and convert it to, safely convert it across the code base to a W string. So it has a whole slew of methods on it. I'm just gonna go through a few of them here. Uh, a lot of Hungarian, so WZ is like a, a W char that's null terminated, CCH is count of chars and so on and so forth. This one is a uh, interface and then there's a concrete class uh, that has all the, all the details. Uh, so the way here is that we want I string to become basically look like std w string and then just do a bulk switch out at, at the end. So the first step I went with is uh, added this base uh, STL interface on the string that has uh, methods that look like std w string. Uh, so I added things here as I needed, but basically I needed, uh, you know, CSER size, clear, sign, uh, at, data, and a couple others. Next thing was to convert the, the easy ones. So we had I string wz that obviously just becomes cster, that's an easy, easy replacement. Uh, we add the new method and uh, the old method just calls a new one down below there. Uh, same with empty and clear, that's a simple, simple swap out as well. Uh, now we get to this CCH, so the, the STL equivalent is, is uh, size, but it returns a size T, whereas a lot of our old code uses int for sizes. Uh, so I can't just do a simple switch, instead I'm gonna uh, extract the, the logic into a, this basically this templated function uh, that takes the string and then operates on the on the shared type or the the, the STL friendly method. So now I have the string CCH method that takes a T, which can be uh, a std w string or my I string STL, and it'll work for both cases. Uh, and then the con the concrete size uh, method I implement in C string does the static cast to go back to int and size. I, yeah, that's right, size t, and we have static cast there to, to keep the behavior the same. Uh, next up here is this f get data, which is basically a, a hey string copy the copy yourself into my output buffer. Uh, so the old the old code implemented in C string uh, is using uh, member variables, you know, mwz, mcch there, but I want to extract this into a, a flat template function that works on again the the string STL interface and also std w string. So I replaced those with uh, the earlier CCH method that I extracted and also I can just call uh, cster because that, that exists on both of them now. And then again on the interface, f get data just becomes a call to the flat function and we pass in, uh, dereference this as the first parameter. Uh, one last example here. Uh, so we have f copy r g w c h which is essentially just a sign. Um, so I've implement a sign on, on the concrete class, which takes a string view, and basically does what the old code was doing before, but instead of returning a bool, we throw uh, std bad alloc if our ensure buffer function fails. Uh, and then to maintain the behavior in the flat function, try copy rgwch, uh, we catch that bad alloc and turn it back into the bool. So now we, st and, then, and then again, the interface just calls the flat function passing itself. All right, so we've, we've done all this and we have either uh, translated methods, oh yeah, I, I guess I should add. Um, this part is done by hand, it's, it's fairly mechanical, but you could still have a typo or something, so I do, uh, I updated the unit test to work against both, uh, both cases as well. This, this code had some unit tests. All right, so we're, we're ready to do this transform. Uh, we have some simple uh, rename functions, and then we have these extract, uh, extract methods. And so clang tidy to the rescue, uh, we write a matcher, that basically matches any method that any method call to an I string uh, method, uh, and then we do the simple one here first. Uh, get the method name from the callback, see if it's one of our renames, and if it is, uh, create a replacement. Uh, the the extract one's slightly more complicated, but um, basically see if it's one of our matches. Uh, see if we need to add a this or not. See if we need to dereference the thing, and then we do a replacement and insertion. Uh, dot, 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 profit. The th two things are the same. We can just do this using I string equals to W string uh, and swap everything out and then later clean up to get rid of the cruft.
uh, some links. There was a great talk yesterday about, uh, went into more detail on Clang Tidy that fits nicely with this. Thank you very much.